This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I rotate my model if I am zoomed in and I do not have an empty canvas area to click on? So if you're used to the default functionality of navigating inside a ZBrush, you can simply click off on an empty space, and this will allow you to rotate around your model like so. Now, if you come in close to say a zoom in area like this, and you're working on your model, and you try to do that same rotate option, since you're on a model, it's going to give you a sculpting effect rather than a rotating. And since you're this close, you may not be able to find an empty space of the canvas to use that functionality. So there are two ways in which you can rotate your model when you're at a view or this close in to your mesh. The first way is the right click method. So if you simply just hover over any area in your model and simply right click and hold that down, then that will allow you to rotate around your mesh like so. Now, if you're used to the method of not right clicking where you're just using the empty canvas area, along the edge of your document window here, you'll see this white border. And so this white border here activates when you're in edit mode. So if you navigate your cursor or your crosshair to the edge of this border here, it's going to act as though it's an empty spot on the canvas. So with this, you can come over to any of the white borders here and simply click and move, and that's going to apply that same movement effect that you would get if you were clicking on an empty spot on the canvas. So this will allow you to come through and apply your zooms and anything else that you would normally do if you were clicking off the model like so. So once again, you have the option to use the right click effect, which will allow you to navigate your model like so, or you can use this outer border here, which will allow you to navigate around your model even if you're zoomed in really close like this. So if you have any other additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.